Fracking is the process of extracting natural gas from shale rock deep under existing layers of different types of geology, using high pressure water and chemicals to fracture or shock the shale, then using a separate combined list of chemicals including benzene and other toxic products to create a reaction within the oil bearing rock. That results in natural gas being released which is then tapped at the surface by the mining company. It's a technical process that is regarded as highly damaging to rocks and aquifers, although mining companies defend the process as ecologically sound. Here's how it works. The company first drills a well to the shale rock, up to seven or 8,000 feet below the surface in many instances. Then water under pressure is pumped into the well, which sometimes leads to toxic spills. More leaks can occur higher up and directly into the water table, while the fluid eventually is forced thousands of feet underground and into the shale rock. Chemically treated sand and ceramic keeps the fractures open, as fracking chemicals are injected at high pressure to widen the cracks, which releases the natural gas. The problem is the majority of the fracking chemical fluid remains underground. The high pressure damages non-oil bearing rocks as well, which can cause the methane gases and toxic fluids upwards. Carcinogenic fluids like benzene are then pressed upwards under pressure and can reach local aquifers. Residential wells pump the water into homes while concentrated methane gas creates flammable water and poisonous fumes on the surface. The toxic fluid waste is pumped into poorly constructed pits and even when lined are prone to leaks. While Shell has decided to continue its process of convincing people that mining by the fracking technique is not damaging, reports from countries such as America where this has occurred are not positive, with communities up in arms in various states about the effect of fracking on their groundwater and their lives.